uh, understand a lot about neuroscience mostly, but also uh, just how wave patterns form and how, and how they work with the human body. So um, that's, that's sort of my vocation in life is to work in that field. Uh, now, I did get through mechanical engineering. Uh, I had to get a surgery before. I uh, started grad school, which was right after 9-11, but um, it was, uh, you know, uh, that's that's what I've been practicing, control systems engineering, and then um, plan to go into neuroscience as my graduate study program. Didn't get there yet, but it's awesome, and uh, I just love, yeah, I love working out on uh, studying devices like this, which I've studied several of them before. Um, to be honest, I haven't trusted anybody until I came to an event like this, because so, I'm, I, doctors really don't study it that well, and patients don't really understand it that well, so um, I'm very impressed with this. So, uh, the effectiveness far exceeds anything I've ever experienced. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I love what, that stuff. No, how did your, your trapezius muscle, your shoulder, what was the level of pain? The pain was uh, right around a um, uh, 6.5 before, which 7 is getting really, really annoying. But yeah. I'm able to tolerate it and still be able to think straight. Um, eight's to the point where I can't even drive a car. <laughs> yeah. Nine is brain surgery, so <laughs> yeah. to give you an idea. Um, but yeah, uh, and you got out of the sun. I got out, and it's at least a, it's at least a three or two. Yeah. So that's that, that's amazing. I, a physical therapy session doesn't get it done in this amount of time. Yeah, and I really have thought that the um, that this methodology would work. Um, it does to some extent, and when it's uh, unidirectional, which uh, yeah. some. Uh, some uh, medical journal, you know, medical journals, but medical catalogs will will have such the unidirectional um, waveform for uh, treating their patients. Um, yeah. Just mostly in small areas. Um, I think that was about two by two feet uh, pad type of thing. I've had that one before, and it doesn't. Do, it only does half the job. Maybe brought it down to a f uh, 4.5 or something like that. And this does much better than that. So <laughs> I'm, I'm very impressed. So yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. So, so, so the uh, you you've you've read the book uh, by uh, Dr. Tosh Toshika Yamasaki, mm -hmm. the science of far infrared therapy. Yeah. And I was I was talking yeah. about that this. I know I've read read her books definitely. But she has another book as well. Correct me uh -huh. wrong. So yeah. Um, uh, I might have confused one with the other, but um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I love her work. And and this the I was explaining that the relaxed sauna uses. Only only the 7 to 14 micron mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. vibrational rate. Mm -hmm. And you were saying if it's not, if it's like 2 or 3 or 4, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And you know that from experience? I know that from my research studies. From your research. So, um, I, I'm, I, I do a lot of delving into um, research articles to yeah. uh, um, honestly do what doctors like these that are at this conference are doing is to try to enlighten people and put it into words that they can understand. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not officially of the medical profession, but I, I, I have worked for most of my life in trying to help patients um, understand, you know, what, what the nasty stuff is that, that's yeah. out there and, and the better ways to, to get treatment because uh, medication should be avoided at all costs. <laughs> so if you could find alternative therapies, um, that's the best thing to do. Um, and that's coming from somebody who had brain damage when she was, practically when she was born. Um, uh -huh. Back's injured when I was... Uh, I uh, got my childhood vaccines. And, How old uh, were you when that happened? Um, I started having seizures when I was three. Okay. And uh, they were uncontrollable with high doses of anticonvulsants until uh, they came out with the MRI and yeah. it discovered the anomaly. Yes. And it was 
uh, had the choice, and to be honest, um, with the high doses of medication, I would have been a dependent and never would have been able to complete high school, probably. Yeah. Um, but I completed high school and college, so. <laughs> no. Well, what did they do to you at at, at age three? Uh, you, you were, age three is is when the vaccines were, were yeah. or well, actually more like the end of my age two 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 and something months, yeah. and then the onset was at three. And so you, you never had any kind of seizures until you, you got the that. Was, that was the MRI vaccine. MRI, no, that was the um, that's the M MMR. MMR. Yeah. Uh -huh. What does MMR stand for? Um, measles, mumps, and rubella. Okay, yeah. Vaccination. And so. your, your parents were not were rather upset. Um, yeah, of course. It took, it's taken them until now to realize that you know this is due to vaccines. This is yeah. not a traditional birth defect. In fact, yeah. In the medical journals at the time, um, which I I appeared in, they initially said that I. Um, only had mesial sclerotic tissue or something. I, yeah. I forget the exact quote, but um, it wasn't until later in some in medical journal articles about, I, I found them about a decade later, that they finally confessed that there was, um, uh, you know, there was an association with the um, vaccinations. So, yeah. so I, you can't, you can find, um, it's a very it's rare yeah. for the MMR in, in so much as it is compared to other vaccines, but yeah. um, it's it's very uh, it's very solid in, in research now that yeah. you're, there is a correlation. So there definitely is with autism and ADHD. That's for so, sure. so your trapezius muscle Sorry. that hurts right now isn't related to that though, um, or actually. It's related to the um, how the left and right brain uh, work. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm, I'm more familiar with EG, uh, doing QEEGs and yeah. uh, looking at, at at how the circuitry goes through the brain. But you know, uh, yeah. this is sort of more like uh, how how it goes through the muscle. Um, right. So right now you're patterns going you're, through the muscle and, and how it, it basically just teaches it to go to the correct frequency to relax, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, we're all supposed to have this exposure mostly because um, because of you know UV light. We don't you know uh, the sunlight does give us some of that, but um, to the to the right degree that we need it um, and. We need a little bit extra too these days because we're we're injured by all these, you know, yeah. things that we get in vaccines as well as just our, our more normal dietary practices that are practiced today. But yeah. um, for, as for me, I've been trying to treat myself for many years, so uh, yeah. I find this very beneficial. Yeah, um, and, and have studied. Uh, the vibration mechanics of these devices for a while, so that's why I know a little bit about it. And, and the relaxathon is one of the fir first devices you have found to yeah, yeah. to do what? To actually get rid of that pain and in, in, uh, partic particularly my upper back. So uh, you've ha you've had the pain for how long? Since I was born. Since I was since you were born, you've had yeah. this pain. Yes, I've never gotten down that low uh, on the on the pain grade pain grade. As you are right now. Uh, yeah, that quick of variance. I mean, the the only time that I recall not being in pain to maybe like a two. Yeah. Was when I was really high after um, after uh, when they couldn't get me off of um, when I I came off of my uh, anticonvulsants when I, right before surgery to yeah. do testing uh -huh. and um, in that testing. Uh, you know, they they had to. My, my seizures went on for 30 minutes, and um, how old were you then? Uh, that was 15. Age and, 15. Yeah, yeah, and they had to uh, pump some really hefty stuff in there. Wow. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs>
I mean, did the, the, they give you like a morphine yeah, or yeah. something like that? I was in, in the aftermath. I only remember a portion of it, but I do remember my dad. And this is a funny story, but yeah. he, he had to bring me to the bathroom because it was his shift between my mom and him. So uh -huh. God bless him. And, yeah. But yeah, it's I I've never not known neuropathy. You know. Uh -huh. It's, it's always been a part of me, as far as I can re recollect. So, yeah. so, so you're saying that, that how, how young are you now? Oh, gosh. I'm embarrassed. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bicentennialist, so okay. uh, that's, that's where I am. Okay. My, my later, mid, mid to later 40s, so, yeah. so, so, so it's been 20, 30 years yeah. since, since you've had this little pain? Yeah. Yeah. 20, 30 years. 31 years. And did you expect that before you 32. got in? Yeah. No, I didn't. I've always been a pragmatist at believing uh, yeah. after trying one of these things before. And Have you been in other saunas before? I tried one before. Yeah. And, um, what happened? It honestly didn't change much. Yeah. Um, was that a wooden sauna or a portable sauna or? A... It was a portable actually. Yeah. Uh huh. But um, and uh, but the obviously the material wasn't correct. Yeah. So, well, uh, the frequency. Yeah. Yeah, it's... that and the frequency. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was way too much. It wasn't as hot as it is in here. <laughs> Let's put that yeah. way, uh -huh. which is a good thing. So, yeah. Um, it doesn't hit that correct frequency for, for our bodies. And you can feel the frequency. You can, oh, yeah. you can so can you oh, yeah. describe how your your shoulder and, and your muscles how they felt all of a sudden? Um, the, the, you know. Yeah, it's kinda like how uh, how do you explain it? You know, um, you know how you you know you take putty and just you know go really fast. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and it you just pull it and then it tears. Um, this way, it turns the putty into a sort of a material that, if you do it the same, same speed, yeah, it just relaxes automatically. So uh -huh. there's zero deformity. It'll go back to its elastic, you know, its full position. If that's yeah. the case, but uh, that I don't know if that explains it, but that's that's sort of how I think of it. You know, our, our bodies are, are tied in knots. Basically, that's that's when you have a bunch of chemicals, yes, right. uh, so to speak. I'm going blank on that one right yeah. now, but a buildup in our in our muscles. And um, this thing, basically, what it does is put it at the right frequency to dissipate that. And so I can tell that um, I'm going to need to have a lot of water after this <laughs> and to <laughs> to get to get that to get the the, what what has gone to, into obviously it comes out of the muscle has to go into the blood system and then uh, you have to flush that out so uh, that's that's my understanding I don't know if yeah. that's your understanding but <laughs> so, so how does your how does your muscle feel now like because like, I just put it on for another five minutes it's great it was awesome yeah is it down to a zero yet um, almost almost yeah I think the only reason is because uh, it's a little bit up, up, up into my head and that. Well, yeah, and that wasn't quite reached, but yeah. <laughs> we, you know, you can put the head in the relaxed sauna. It's very oh, easy cool. to do. You just okay. yeah, and the, and the mm -hmm. your crown will pop out. Yeah, yeah. I the reason you see me. I'm sorry. I'm I, I yeah. had to cut off my hair recently because I did take the vaccine, and um, I have uh, sybaritic dermatitis because uh -huh. of it. And yeah. I've yeah. never seen the scar, but yeah, that's yeah. my scar from uh -huh. brain surgery. But yeah, I'm grateful that I got out of that. Uh -huh. Very fortunate to still. So, so be essen essentially, you, you know, you're really surprised how good you feel right now. I oh, am. Yeah. I guess it's because I have a comparison to go with. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, yeah. like I, I didn't know that y'all had mastered the the art yet, and I hadn't heard their company yet. So, you didn't know what? I hadn't heard of your company yet. Oh, so, yes. um, I'm, I'm, I'm elated to think that this is, is the, it's finally been achieved. So. Yeah, I mean, the, the energy is different from it's the. So different. So different. <laughs> it's like night and day. Yeah, yeah. So, the other one, it didn't get to that kind of the resonant frequency of the body. Yeah. So. And you can feel the frequency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and you can feel it coming from the all sides. Oh yeah, because it's being reflected. Oh yeah, yeah, 
just slightly not in the back because I'm sitting against the seat. That's yeah. about it. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I, that, that, this was nice. You know, th this is something that doctors could study. This this 15 minute interview, doctors could study and maybe learn a lot. Yes, definitely. Um, I'm yeah, I'm a brain surgery survivor. I've had fibromyalgia and CFS ever since. Yeah. And, uh, Lupus, You're, and uh -huh. so uh, it's it's a. Uh, I've had I've had uh, to be honest I think I've had myalgia since I was practically born so yeah. this is uh, this is very very good for the neurological community I'll tell you that much so. So um, you're gonna help share it with the neurological oh, yeah, community. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so you feel pretty damn good right now. Yeah. Because I, I do know that there, the uh, electrical uh -huh. wave patterns that are yeah. on the left side and the right side of the brain are, are slightly off. Yeah, right. Hence why I have a lot of the pain that I do because it developed uh -huh. over the years. Yeah. And um, not to mention the medications, uh, the anticonvulsants that I had to take in heavy doses as a child. And um, obviously the chemical damage that can cause. So to be honest, I, I would definitely recommend this um, therapy for... Uh, pediatric cases of epilepsy, yeah. um, for sure, um, because they, they, especially those with the brain anomaly, so if they have an unequal activity on the left and right sides, then they need a little more oomph to, to tell their body to relax. And what group of doctors or what group of uh, scientists are do research on the area of, of that you're that you're talking about the neur neurological yeah mostly uh, neurologists very uh -huh. specialized in nature um, I think I'll have a neuropsychologist who might be interested in, in yeah. learning more so because yeah. um, he like my, myself has mostly been a skeptic so. yes <laughs> so you've been a skeptic because you hadn't experienced any relief yeah, until I now hadn't, hadn't got, if you hadn't quite reach that again resonant frequency the, between the yeah uh, seven and that's a good what well, you call it resonant frequency yeah, exactly. that's exactly what this is yeah yeah you hit the resonant frequency <laughs> we, we we the relaxed sauna got it right yeah exactly okay that's relaxsaunas.com yeah and what was exactly. your first name katie and and you said we, the first thing you said i missed it you for the first 10 seconds you have a background in what in, um, well, mechanical engineering, vibration mechanics, and uh -huh. um, uh, pre-graduate studies, and uh, some some graduate studies in neuroscience. So, yeah. so, so what you're saying is you know what you're talking about. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. uh, yeah, went to college at Texas A&M, which was fourth in the nation at the time. Yeah. For my uh, discipline, so um, I do I do miss it, <laughs> but it's uh, it's it's wonderful wonderful world of, of vibration mechanics and uh, that's my, my expertise in the real world is control systems engineering um, mm -hmm. and uh, so yeah we, we have to make sure that things are at their resonant frequency so that's, that's sort of my deal. And how, how would you describe the energy that comes out of the relaxed sauna that you're feeling right now? I mean, it feels like heat at first, but yeah. you know, you, you can feel it kind of going through your muscles. So it's definitely going past that, and I, yeah. I feel the, I feel the waves. You feel the waves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's, I feel yeah. the wave. <laughs> it's it's hard to feel waves when you're, when you're so stiff as a yeah. board uh, sometimes uh -huh. because uh, because it's hard it's hard with all the medications you have to take. So wow. yeah, I I hope this helps pediatric patients because I think um, yeah. they won't have to. They won't have to take as much uh, medications if they, if they yeah. possibly try this. And then, of course, helping people like me. <laughs> yeah. So do you have to take really medications nice. a lot or what? Yes, I do. I have to take anticonvulsants uh -huh. still to keep the, that, you know, that short change circuit between the left and right yeah. from, um, you know, short changing itself so much that I, you know, it basically, you don't have the equal response time, and thus your muscles on your left and right side aren't functionally. Yes, completely. right. So, yeah, uh, it just results in knots, stuff like that. So it's, um, I, I'm just glad I know why, because a lot of people are, are frustrated with the yeah. fact that they don't understand why they have that pain and I that's, okay. that's okay. you I you figured out why oh yeah because yeah. of the yeah. the uh, discrepancy between the left side and the right mm -hmm. side of the yeah. of the vibration of being able to maintain an equilibrium yeah and it's kind of like people in my vibration mechanics class I 
I I did really well, and I was top of my class in that one, which yeah. I'm not considered considered to be top of your class for especially yeah. for a brain surgery patient. Right, right. So um, I was kind of uh, surprised, but it was um, I, it, it just clicks with me. So uh-huh. and um, and so I, I basically can see how it, how y'all are working through this, and it's amazing and I'm, and I'm so grateful for the research that you yes. put into this because uh-huh. it has the potential of helping a lot of nerve the relax sauna yeah yeah because yeah. it took the relax sauna 10 years to develop a semiconductor I chip am not <laughs> you know that does this to, to, to get the exact frequency mm-hmm. and a lot of people they accept less than exact frequency and think it's doing something no. Doesn't. Yeah. Been there and done that. <laughs> so, so you know, you're. We still have a couple hours left today. Come mm-hmm. back and do it another five, ten minutes. Sure. Come back. You're going to be here tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be here. Come back and do it two or three times tomorrow. Okay. And we're we're going to see if we can we can get you doing cartwheels. <laughs> that would be totally awesome. I've never mastered that, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and anything is possible. Anything is possible. Okay. Yeah. Do you know we've been talking for over twenty minutes? Um, no. <laughs> yeah, I guess when you're when there is no time, the the, the miracles can happen. And so when you get in the relaxed sauna, you you become timeless mm-hmm. because it activates the parasympathetic where there's no time. You know, I, I've got a, a good definition uh, of of pain. It's called the awareness of time. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, at, at any rate, uh, you're enjoying the relaxed sauna, mm-hmm. and you can feel it right now. Definitely. And Definitely. and uh, I guess we've talked enough, but but we'll uh, we'll talk more. Certainly. Okay. Certainly. Thanks. And your name was Katie. Katie. Katie that's what I thought. Yeah. I've talked to so many people. That's I said, wait. Right. I thought it was Katie. That's yeah. right. K A T Y. Like Katie, Texas. So okay. Right. right. Texas. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks a lot. I'm going to turn it off now, okay. and I, I I I wish you continued healthy successes and and we'll be in communication. Oh, likewise. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks a lot, Katie. Yeah.